Hello friends, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about a very important and very basic step that sometimes we forget and don't know what is the use of this particular feature here, which is known as select working directory. Now, why I am saying this? Because if we are a new user, then we don't know actually what it actually do. Now, in this video, I will be telling you what this function actually do and why we need to take care of setting working directory. Now, whenever we open Creo, it is advisable to first select the working directory where you want to work. Unfortunately, we cannot set it permanently. So every time whenever we open Creo, we need to set it again. So if you are working for the whole day, then I think you need to set it only once, maybe twice. Okay, so let's uh, not by wasting time, let's begin. So we're gonna be talking about how it works. Let's say for example, this is your project file and you're working daily on this particular directory. You have clicked on set working directory and then select the directory which you want to work in and then click OK. Now you see here the message in message bar successfully changed to this particular directory, which is tool directory. Now the benefit of setting working directory is that let's say, for example, I'm creating a file. Now. I have created a file. I am making some modification. After doing that, when I press save, we do not need to show the path to uh, to the save option button because path is already pre-configured because we have already set our working directory. Now we can click OK. Let's now make some more changes. and click again save. Now, because we already have say, set the working directory, so every time I will click save, it will automatically save on that particular folder. It will also save even though you haven't set the working directory, but another benefit that I want to sh show you is that, for example, here you can see there are around five instances of this particular file. Now, what is instance? I will make another video about instance and you may also find the link of the video about instance in the description down below. Let's now focus on what's the another benefit of creating a working directory. Now you go to file because every time you save, there is a new instance. I, now, after you have completed your work, you only want to have a latest instance. So you can go to manage file and delete old version. Now, if you have set the working directory correctly, this should work. Let me just refresh and you know, even I do not need to refresh and you can see this work perfectly. Now let's take another scenario. In this scenario, what we're going to do, we're going to create another file and this time uh, okay, let, let me just close this whole thing and I'm going to start Creo again. Now this time, let, let's not set the working directory. Let's just start working. Okay, so this is my part. I have defined the density. Let's refresh it. Okay, now this time I want to save it on same folder, but I haven't set the working directory. Still, I'm going to save it on the same. Now save it again. You can see another so many instances. 
Now let's go back manage session and click on delete all the versions. Now click yes. Now you see, despite we clicked yes, my old version did not got deleted. And the reason is pretty simple. We haven't set the working directory. This is the main reason why this time this tool didn't work. And so many times, so many people ask like why delete old version does not work. What is the purpose of delete old version is? And uh, I have problem in my software. No, there is no problem in software. The thing is we haven't taken the proper steps. Okay. So that's all guys from my side in this video about set working directory. It is always advisable and recommended to set working directory. However, it is not a compulsion. Like you have to have to set this. There is no compulsion, but it's always recommended. What do you think about this video? Please do let me know in comment down below. What is your suggestion? And you can also support us in Patreon. I am posting the link in description down below. Consider like and subscribe to our channel. And I will see you soon with some another interesting video. Till then take care and bye bye.